Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do the booktube community tag. Uh, shout out to Doris for this one. She encouraged me to do it and uh, it looks like a really fun tag. So let's get right into the questions. And I will have the original uh, video creator down below in the description box along with Doris's original video too, which is where I saw it for the first time. So. The first question is, how long have you been watching BookTube? So I've been watching BookTube for a little over four years. Um, I think one of the, f I, Cassidy Von Shea was one of the first videos I ever saw. And then soon after that, I discovered Sam from Sam's Nonsense's channel. And that was the point when I was like, I can totally do this. Which leads me into the next question, which is how long have you been making BookTube content? And that's a little over four years. So it was August of 2014 is when I joined BookTube. And I think my first video was um, a book haul. Not surprising. And then after that, I did a few tags. Um, I was really into the ones where you basically told people unpopular opinions. So um, there was a lot of those tags going around <laughs> early on my channel. The next question is two parts. So where are your subscribers from? So I don't know all of the countries that they're from, but I kind of looked at my analytics and the top countries that the majority of my subscribers seem to be from uh, are the US, Australia, the UK, and Canada in that order. And then the second part of the question is um, basically what countries are the channels you subscribe mostly from. Um, and I would say it's pretty consistent with those same countries, so US, UK, Australia, and Canada. And then I would throw in like the Scandinavian or Germanic areas of Europe, so a lot of um, Scandinavian countries. And then I have a, a few, like a handful of German YouTube channels that I follow. Um, so roughly the same as my subscribers, I would say. And I am always open to new channels. Uh, it's, it's crazy because I feel like BookTube is very saturated in those top four that, you know, most of my subscribers are from. Um, so if you have channels or you know of channels that are in areas other than those top four, then definitely leave them down below because I would love to find uh, like a more diverse group of channels to subscribe to. The next question is how do you handle comments and do you have conversations with the same people in your comments? I will be the first person to tell you that I am not quick to respond to comments. So I generally will get to responding to comments, but a lot of times it's weeks later. So um, I'm trying to do a little bit better during Vlogmas to sit down at the end of the week and go back and respond to all the comments on my videos that week but um, it's just sadly one of the things that ends up slipping through the cracks a lot of times and once I get really far behind I just get to a point where I cut it off and I'm like great right, well those videos I'm just not going to respond to comments because it's been like a month and a half um, but I try 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 to respond to everybody's comments and I read every comment that is made on my channel I just may not get to um, responding back right away um, and I want to do better and I said that last year and I honestly have not gotten much better about it. Um, unfortunately just work and life gets in the way sometimes and um, I think that that is something that is unfortunate because I love connecting with my subscribers and having those conversations. Um, I find there are a few people that I have conversations with um, more often than others. So a lot of people that I see commenting more often and then um, especially on my tea videos, we get into conversations about different teas and different tea companies, um, which is really fun. So I will continue to say I want to get better at responding to comments, but I don't know that that goal is something that I am going to actually get better at, sadly. <laughs> and then the next question is, do you interact with other booktubers on um, other social media platforms? If so, which ones? So I would say yes, I do. Um, I am on Instagram probably as the next social media the most. I also am on Goodreads and Twitter and I recently started a Facebook page that doesn't have a whole lot of followers. I don't post as regularly on there because even when I had a blog that Facebook page was a lot, uh, was always my last priority. <laughs> um, but yes, so I have all four of those other than Goodreads because 
I don't actually know if you have like a handle on Goodreads. All the others are the same and I can say that for the first time ever. <laughs> Um, all of my social media is under Jenny K Reads, and I'll have a link down below if you want to follow me. I would say Instagram is where I am the most active other than YouTube. And then the next question is, do you rely on booktubers for suggestions? Absolutely. I get a lot of book recommendations from booktube. Um, I would say Doris and Sam and Stephanie are three of the places that I get the most recommendations, and I'll link all of their channels down below, and Olive. Olive gives me so many things to add to my TBR. <laughs> Number seven is do you interact with other booktubers by email? Um, no, I really don't exchange emails with other booktubers ever. I have a few booktubers that I have phone numbers of and we text occasionally, mainly Stephanie. Um, but I've talked a little bit before about how that is something where I feel like I'm not as engaged with the community is that I don't have those like continuous relationships that are like really close like some booktubers have. Um, and also I'm really horrible at email. Number eight is when you do tag videos, do you tag the same people? Um, I actually don't tag anybody normally. Sometimes I'll remember, uh, but more often than not, I either forget to tag anyone at all, or I'll just be like, everyone who's watching, you are tagged. So I wouldn't say I tag the same people because I tag no one most of the time. Number nine is, do you, have you ever mailed books to another booktuber? And I have. Um, there was a fantasy middle grade book that a local author wrote that I just loved and wanted more people to read. So I bought a bunch of them and sent them to my booktube friends. Um, I've also given books to some of my booktube friends when I've met them in person. Two, I love sharing books. A lot. <laughs> Next question is, have you ever received books in the mail from another booktuber? Um, I've done like Secret Santa things um, or those kind of things. That's the only time I've ever, in, to my knowledge, received books in the mail from another booktuber. Um, but yeah, no, I can't think of any other time that I've necessarily received a book in the mail. Eleven is, have you ever been visited by a booktuber or visited another booktuber? And yes. So Stephanie from Time to Read, who is my booktube bestie, um, I met her when I was in Portland on my honeymoon. And when she was on her cross-country trip, she actually came down to Chattanooga and I got to meet her and Jake and that was fantastic. We had a blast. I also met Katie uh, when I was in Portland on that same trip uh, for our honeymoon. Um, and she's absolutely fantastic. If you haven't checked out her channel, she's back making videos. Check it out. I adore her. Uh, and then I met Doris when I was in Nashville uh, for the Renaissance Fair one weekend. We met up there. Um, and hopefully next time I go up there, um, I'll get to meet Mara as well. Um, I'm hoping, Mara, if you're watching, that she will join me and Doris on our Nashville booktube book store <laughs> crawl. Number 12 is do you do buddy reads? And if so, are they with the same people? I actually don't do a whole lot of buddy reads. I've done maybe three in the history of me being on booktube and I enjoyed them, but I also find uh, buddy reads to be super stressful for me because I'm such a mood reader and as soon as I put an obligation or a time frame on something it doesn't end up happening um, or I feel really stressed about it so I no, I don't really do buddy reads all that often um, when I do it's usually just like once or twice a year and 13 is to tag people and I am actually gonna tag people this time because I thought about this beforehand so I definitely want to tag Stephanie um, from Time to Read. I want to tag um, Olive from a book Olive. I almost said Doris and Doris is the one that, that I got this tag from. My brain is, is somewhere else right now. Um, I want to tag Olive from a book Olive as well as uh, Lauren from Lauren in the Books and Elena from Elena Reads Books and then um, Aoife from Fred Weasley Died Laughing. I would love to see all of their answers. I think this is such a fun tag. Um, I love anything that is about the community and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!